Howdy, Tinker Nerds. Welcome to Tinkernut Labs, where I kind of take you behind the scenes of the different projects that I've been working on. My most recent project was my Raspberry Pi web-controlled SpyBot. The cool thing about this project is I show you how you can control the Raspberry Pi's inputs and outputs from the web. This is something that can come in very handy for future projects. All right, so how is the web control actually done? In the SpyBot video, I cover a lot of the steps, including installing the Nginx web server PHP in the Wiring Pi software, but I don't really cover the actual code behind making the web page. The Wiring Pi software is what's key here, because it allows you to run simple commands through the terminal to turn the input-output pins on and off. But more importantly, it allows you to do this through PHP as well. So in your WW folder, create a new PHP file and add this simple command to it. This will set the pin 24 mode to out and write a one to it, which will turn it on. Now save this file as pin on.php and now let's create another file with similar code, except writing a zero to it instead of a one. This will turn the pin off. So obviously we're gonna save it as pin off.php. Creative, I know. Now to see that it works, we want to wire an LED, the universal notifier, to pin 24 and a ground pin. So next, just pull up a web browser and go to your Pi's IP address, followed by pinon.php. This should make the LED light up. Then to turn it off, go to pinoff.php, and boom, lights out. But if you have multiple inputs with multiple functions, going to individual web pages to activate them is kind of a pain. And using a single web page that links to all the different functions will work, but it's not ideal because you still have to click the back button to go back to the main page and everything. What we're looking for is a push button type of control. So what's the best way to activate PHP functions on a different web page from your current page? For those of you that said Ajax, give yourself a gold star. What we want to do is create a new page and start by creating a normal HTML base, adding two buttons in the body, one for on and one for off. Be sure to give them both unique IDs because this is how we will reference them later. Now for those of you who've already seen my JavaScript tutorial, this shouldn't be too unfamiliar to you because Ajax is merely a bridge between JavaScript and PHP. So in the head, put a reference to the jQuery JavaScript file and then start a JavaScript enclosure. Let's start Ajax whenever the document is loaded and ready and then let's load a function that checks for whenever our on button is clicked. Let's create a new variable for our page request and then let's point it to our pin on.php page. All we want to do is simulate going to the page and loading it. So let's create a ready state change function that checks to see if the page loads, which is status 200. Otherwise, we can return an error. Now all that's left to do is to send all of this to our pin on.php page. And before we test it, let's duplicate that script, except this time watching for the off button and calling the pin off.php page. All right, now save this as controls.php. Then whenever you open up a web browser and go to your Pi's IP address slash controls.php, you should be able to use that page to control the LED without having to change pages. That should give you the gist for how I created the controls page for my SpyBot. So now you have all the tools you need to create your own awesome Raspberry Pi web controlled robot. If you got any value out of this video and would like to give some value back, please consider sending some Bitcoins my way or contributing to my Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash tinkernut. If you don't have any money, that's not a problem. You can also support me by commenting, liking, subscribing, or following me on Google Plus and Twitter. All right, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com, where technology and creativity collide.